Ghost Cult Magazine welcomes in music legend Martin Lopez of So. And how are you doing, Martin? I'm good. I'm good. How are you? I am swell. Thank you so much. First things first, I hope you and your family are well. Everybody's good. This has been a very trying time in the world, and I'm glad you're still able to make music and put out new music like your brand new album right now. Thank you. We're doing well. I mean, it is what it is, and, and we just, you know, we're kind of hoping to for the, the this virus to disappear so we can go back to normal, but uh, we're having a, you know, we're okay. I guess a lot of people have, are having a, a lot of a, a lot tougher than than we than we have. So. Indeed, indeed, right. It could be so much worse. And I know that you just recently rescheduled some dates to next year and later in the year. You announced some new ones. Um, you know, I imagine. I know you spent the last year writing and recording, which was the plan. But, you know, I imagine you, this is probably a very long stretch for you to not come be on tour, play a festival, go to a show yourself, go out. It's got to be difficult. It's tough. Yeah, of course. And, and uh, there's an album to promote and all that. But mostly it's just the, the, the kind of miss the connection with, with our audience you know, and just being out there and, and sharing our music and, and having that something that you kind of get addicted to and um, but we are just finding some other things to do and uh, and to keep you know kind of progressing with the band so we are planning all this uh, playing a show with uh, uh, a string corded kind of something that we always wanted to do which is play our songs even or you know heavy songs in in um, semi acoustic kind of uh, way with the strings and everything. So we, we just, to not go crazy, we get into that and, and, and it's kind of doing, making us feel better at least. Right, it's important to have plans and follow through with them and continue like things are gonna improve and they are. I am very confident thing, you know, I feel like with the vaccines now, we're gonna start slowly getting back to normal. It may take some time. We're not there yet. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the, the vaccine is is that's what we're hoping for, right? Uh, I mean, the, but it, it may take some time. I I truly hope and think that by September we will be able to tour, but but we'll see. I hope so, and I'm super excited to you know perhaps see the band perform with a string quartet, that would be amazing. You guys have, you know, put out a bunch of material that would lend itself to that heavy, not so heavy. Uh, I think it would be fantastic for the fans and for you guys musically. Yeah, it's, yeah, some of the stuff that we have been trying, I mean, just maybe some of those heavy songs that, that, that are uh, quite, seem quite complex and intricate when you take them down and just play the core of the song and then focus on on, on the melodies. There, some of them are, are turning really magical, which is uh, a beautiful thing to for us to, you know, to, to, to feel and to, to kind of uh, realize that those songs can be, are so much more than, than just heavy track to headbang to, you know. <clears throat> <laughs> right. Uh, and and again, uh, let's just, you know, first of all, congratulations. Today is record release day for you. It's always a good feeling. Uh, Imperial is out today on Silver Lining Music. Fantastic record. And having listened to it a bunch, getting ready to chat with you, what I, what I really struck me is compared to the last record, which was a little more, I think, expansive and very intricate and progressive, I love how heavy this new record is. Almost like the first record all over again. Not a, not the same material, but like that heaviness, that rawness that I really loved about the band in the first place is definitely to the front on this album. That's what we we felt uh, quite early when writing the songs that this this song this this album will be a lot you know more direct and and with a clear message and and heavier. It's more of a Less proggy and more more metal, uh, and uh, we embrace that uh, because you know we're all metalheads who love prog, but that's 
pretty much what we identify with, you know, and and, and felt that that it, it would be really nice to do an album that maybe was more attached to our roots and and have a little bit less of uh, introvert and uh, and uh, I don't know experiment and and go more straight to the to the throat somehow <laughs> straight right. to, and 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 we feel we feel that we that our vision is is you know we reached the goal that we had with the album <clears throat> i agree and uh yeah it's it's so strong and uh i got to give it up to joel i mean he's always been a fantastic singer i feel like these last couple yeah. of records he's grown so much vocally he really has come into his own like you know so powerful and so fantastic across the board <clears throat> He has. Uh, he's, you know, we all still, even if we had, I don't know, long careers, we're all still learning. And, and he, he's really the one guy in the band that just keeps improving uh, with you know, elephant steps between albums. And it's <clears throat> this uh, metal, more of a metal vibe, really. Uh, Ex got him really excited and he went into to, he went for it and, and, and started trying all these different ways to sing and, and how to to really make the album a bit heavier uh, with his vocals and uh, he really came up with some amazing uh, with an amazing vocal performance I think I, I definitely agree also, I think what's really interesting is I think the, you know, the band has always had very, you know, textural layered guitar stuff, but I think now with the two guitar players, really contrasting styles, kind of sort of playing in, you know, writing in a unified way, but de definitely playing against each other. I think it really has helped sort of bring the music forward another few steps than, you know, like, like I said, the previous records. I think so. I, I think we, we, we opened the door for a little bit, you know, I don't know. I think most of the people was uh, expecting us to go like all prog bands to go more art pop or or jazzy and and we open door to 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 you know metal tradition and and getting in some twin guitar melodies and and some of that lovely uh, you know that tradition that 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 we the twin guitar tradition we grew up with and, and kind of felt that it just feels right. So we, we, we're gonna have it. It's not proggy and it's not uh, uh, original or or uh, uh, or expected, but but it's it, you know it feels right. It fits our music and it fits uh, the song. So so we went a little bit for uh, for that. Of course. And for you personally and your playing, you know, I know I'm sure you work all the time, uh, you know, at your craft. And I always say that, you know, bands, I, I know the fans, are, you know, as soon as you put something out, they ask you what the next one is, but you have to live your life and experience things and play and go, you know, when we used to travel and tour, we had those things to look forward to. But what about, you know, in the space between albums, what what do you do with your playing? How do you improve your playing? What do you do to keep creative as you get ready to write the next record? Honestly, I don't play drums. Uh, I haven't really played drums just to play drums since I was, I don't know, 22 years old. I, I mostly play guitar and bass because I, I, I write on the sound riffs and, and I've been really trying to to become a better guitar player so I can write better uh, better riffs and, and, and better songs and and also I, I have this this thing where I, I want to love every time I want to every time I play drums I really want to enjoy it and I felt uh, a few many years ago I felt that uh, I was, you know, losing my love for for the drum kit just because I played so much. You know, I played live, and then I went to the studio, and then I rehearsed, and then I uh, practiced, and all that. And 
it's not worth it. Uh, I want to, I want to really enjoy it mostly because um, my stre strength as a player is more the, the, the feel and the heart that I put uh, behind my, you know, behind the patterns or whatever is my strength more than my technical abilities. So I, I want to keep that alive uh, and I want to love playing drums. So I mostly only play for jam, you know, to jam a little, to have fun or, or otherwise it's just studio and life. <clears throat> Fair enough. Fair enough. We don't want you to lose your love. Um, it's it gets interesting how your art can kind of. I I've had that relationship myself where I, I uh, my own personal inspiration is in fits and starts, and uh, I have to walk away to come back to it sometimes to to keep loving it. So I respect that a lot. Um, and then as you're writing on guitar and bass and you're coming up with riffs and songs, do you immediately hear parts in your head for the drums? You don't have to go to the drum set to put down a part. You already know what you want to do when you write the riffs, right? Yeah, yeah, I quite, uh, yes. Uh, it, it comes automatically and, and I kind of really, when I do a riff, I know what I want to act, you know, what accents I want to, to uh, put on the kit to make that riff better. Uh, but I think music is a lot of that. Uh, uh, and the older I get, the more I, I kind of understand that writing songs is a lot more about thinking than playing. Just, you know, being smart about the choices of what you are going to do uh, to make a simple part be interesting, for example. My dog is growling in the background. Sorry. Um, <laughs> not about what we're talking about at all. He's not a prog I'm fan. I'm actually with my dog right here. <laughs> <laughs> awesome we love all the dogs and cats and pets coming into the videos all the time thank you so much um, i got a snake i got a snake right there also really yeah. oh awesome what kind uh, uh it's my kid snake i think it's uh, it's the call i know the swedish name uh it's not a dangerous snake it's really aggressive but it's not dangerous uh i cannot touch it but he, she gets along with my my son. I have two. My son has a snake and my daughter has a snake. Then my other daughter has a lizard. And then my other son has the dog here. So that's Interesting. A lot of, lots of animals. And a lot kids. of animals. Well, it's like nature. You need to keep, uh, you know, animals and uh, flowers and plants next to your life, right? Uh, so we don't forget yeah. about those things. Um, and, and the album cover of Imperial also has a snake creature on it too. So I don't know if that's a coincidence. Yeah. Um, but yeah, funny stuff. Um, I, I, speaking of the album cover and uh, artwork and stuff, the band has always been a very visual band. And again, I think as the years progress and the band you know, continues to progress their new albums, the visual style continues to also evolve. And I love the video for Illusion. And I just wanted to talk to you for a second about that concept and you know um so and is never a band that's always like you've done some performance videos but it's not like a whole performance video watch us play and how good we are it's always like a story which i love because i think the music's very deep and the storytelling of the, the music lends itself to video so let's talk about that uh illusion video for a second too all right uh well it's uh i think it's it's uh uh we are it's really important for us uh, as a band to to actually say something you know to, to really talk about things that 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 are, uh, are important to to us and we think are important for humanity and and uh, and somehow that that song is a, a bit of a a, a call to you know unification of of of, if, if, of of all of us who think that we need to do something to change the world a little bit uh for the better and and i think that uh that song kind of reflects that 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 thought that we all have you know like should i do i mean does it really matter what i do 
because it's so it's just so I'm so unimportant and nothing that I that I do will ever change anything. But you know, it's that thing that well, if we all say that, nothing is ever gonna happen. And and I think that some kind of reflects just from a personal view of of finding myself facing those situations, you know, as easy as they are, just. Uh, uh, and uh, kind of uh, goes into that, and and uh, and and hopefully people see that and, and feel that all right, yeah, you know, if we all do something, it's really it's it can be tough sometimes because uh, we we really feel that that we. We have a, a, you know, we have a voice, and, and people listen to to what we say because we have a band, and there's we have followers, and and we feel that we need to to connect with them and and uh, actually give them a, a message of of uh, of a hope, you know, that uh, they're not alone, you know, facing all this in just uh, in just. Uh, values of today and 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 there's also things that we we talk about because we are humans and parents and feel that that we don't know how to how to be yourself how to raise our kids without uh how i mean um, this is complicated but how, how do i i raise my kids telling them that to be successful they need to be make money you know it's, it's a complete lie I, I can't I cannot really do that and and because money as we know is not gonna buy you happiness happiness is to do what you love and 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 to be with to be loved by by the ones that you love and that is the most important thing and money doesn't have anything to do with that at the same time do you do i teach my kid not to earn money and be completely an outcast of society uh, <clears throat> and i don't know all, all these are, are things that we we wonder about ourselves and and, and we know that a lot of people think about and, and we just kind of want to share what we feel you know, about it that we live in a in a in a place where you value success by how many how much money do you make and and it's, it's just it, it, you know it, it sickens me i mean I'm, i mean we kind of just use the time that we have to work more and get more money when you know the, the real value of in our lives is the love that we have and and time time it, it's going away time is going away and if you use that time to chase more money it will come a day when you just wonder what have you done with your whole life you know instead of doing whatever you really really wanted to do uh, and uh, and, and all that comes because we are, you know, we're conquered by social media and by, you know, the big corporations value or the, or, or the, all these brainless idiots uh, like the Kardashians or, or all these huge rappers uh, telling you that they're so happy because they have all these diamonds, big houses or whatever. And we need to fight against that. We really need to fight against that. Uh, we are done. We are guys like you and me at our age. We can just do what we can do, but there's more generations coming that can actually change something. And I think bands should be talking about this. I think we, we should really make, you know, do an effort to change things, to unmask the fucking plot that we're living in. You know? <clears throat> Right on. Very heavy and very needed. And it's definitely a, a conversation that I am here for all the time. And I think about these things all the time, probably ad infinitum. People probably 
uh, wish I wouldn't talk about it so much either with Ghost Cult or in my own. But that's, the, that, that's that's what I feel <laughs> like 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 a lot of people wonders about these things, but don't have anyone to talk about them uh, because they are a little bit annoying. You know, it's it's you don't want to be that guy. You know what I mean? I do. <laughs> yeah, I, I do. I, I don't. I don't think I have a choice. Like, I, yeah, me I, too. This is this is really what I, I what I want to talk about more than more than I don't know uh, cards or stuff like that. So, so yeah. Martin, anytime you want to come back and talk about this stuff, I'm here for you, man. I uh, this is necessary and needed, and I thank you for putting that out in the world. And that's, you've always done that actually, it's who you are, I think. It's baked into who you are as a person. It's, you know, I, you know, um, this whole last year has taught me, to, I've been very fortunate. I'm so thankful for new music. Thank you again for putting out music at this time. You could have chosen not to. And um, I have said over and over again, as much as I love music and it is a huge part of my life, we can't lose the human part of us that has these issues, these these problems we're up against all of us together. And um, I'm trying yeah. to find a middle ground where they exist together, where we talk about music and we also talk about humanity and yeah. culture and, and you, the world. And you being on the stage, the belly of the beast, you know, it's, it's For sure. uh, even, you know, like, uh, not only this, but the, the whole the, the whole political thing there, the, the, the hate uh, between one team or the other is just insane. And it's stuff that needs to be raised. It's like we, we're all humans. And we actually, if you put us in the same room and we don't talk ideologies and politics, we get along. For the most, we get along. Uh, uh, but, you know, I don't know how things what what is uh, something needs to happen and, and we need to stop you know, just talking to each other and respecting each other if we, even if we don't agree on on uh, I don't know taxes for example you know it's right it's because it's yeah um you know even if people I'm trying to get to a place in my life where even people who are diametrically opposed to maybe the way I think and feel about things. I still try to see them as people. I understand that they live, they get up in the morning just like I do. Some of them punch a clock just like I do. They have families like I do. And we're all living on this rock hurtling through space together. It's impo it's improbable. It's insane that like, you know, we could talk over, uh, you know, the internet and a camera and a laptop and talk about music or life or politics. And uh, I'm just very grateful for your time and a chance to hang out with you and hear from you and hear different perspectives of even people who don't agree with me. I may not like what they have to say, but I try to, you know, accept them and understand where they're coming from. And I think that's what we're missing is we used to, okay, I don't agree with you, but I will respect you enough to listen to what you have to say and try to judge you slowly and that's kind of out the window now, and I hope we get it back. We need some humanity back, man. We really do. It's it's crazy. We definitely right do. But that's the thing that I that I feel like. I mean, what is it we don't agree on? Like, because because I don't know. I never met a person. Uh, I never met in my life. I think a person that doesn't want the neighbor to be happy, or people in some other country to be happy. Just thinking human to human, not thinking about oh no these guys have done that or they vote this or they they think you know or just erasing all that all the ideologies all the politics i think everyone wants the other guy to be happy right i mean it's it, you want you know people you know kids to have the same opportunities and, and 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 that's that's who we are i think but maybe i'm being too positive or, or and i uh, maybe i am <laughs> i don't know i, I don't know it feels Anyhow, we'll see. We'll see. I, I again, I'm thankful to even have this conversation. It's a great conversation, and uh, yeah, man, we just do the best we can and uh, put some positivity out into the world and hope people listen and you know wake up about certain things. And um, you know, I, I I said also just just in closing about this idea that uh, the current political climate in America. You can tell somebody all day long that you're right and they're wrong and they still won't listen. So you, it's not enough to just 
try to convince them to come to your way of thinking. We used to have debates and we used to have rhetoric and we used to have respect and you could say, okay, I don't, I have to find a middle ground and people don't want to find a middle ground anymore and we need to find one. No, exactly. Exactly. It's rough. You're, totally, you're completely right. But uh, yeah, man, uh, what else do you have on the horizon? Obviously the shows have been postponed to later in the year and to, into next year. And um, we have this beautiful, wonderful new record out to enjoy and rock out to, uh, you know, going for the throat and heavy. And uh, what are you guys, what uh, are you planning any other videos? Do you guys think you'll do a live stream? Is there uh, any, we have, anything uh, else? Yeah, we have, we have uh, a couple, couple more videos coming out for Imperial. Uh, there's not much else you can do at this time. Uh, and after that, um, just writing music and, and kind of waiting for the storm, the storm to pass so we can go out there and play. That's, that's, that's all we can it. do. Yeah. <laughs> that's all we can do, wait for the storm to pass. Mm -hmm. Martin, man, it is always an honor and a pleasure to talk to you. Thank you for hanging out with Ghost Cult. And uh, please be pleasure. safe and well. I will. I will try. You too.